Hey famous fans, welcome back to Famous Faces Scoop TV, where we dive into the wildest celebrity antics, political shade, and juicy controversies you simply can't miss. From glam to scandals, we've got it all, and today, oh boy, have we got a show for you. Grab your popcorn because we're peeling back the layers on a Hurricane Helene showdown where two political titans Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are clashing in a showdown so dramatic even Hollywood couldn't script it better. Let's get into it. Donald Trump is at it again. Folks, this time taking aim at none other than Vice President Kamala Harris. And why you ask? Well, it's all over a photo. Yes, you heard that right. Trump's latest target is a picture of Harris supposedly hard at work during the Hurricane Helen disaster relief effort. But leave it to Trump to turn what should be a serious moment into yet another political roast. So here's the setup. Harris posted a photo on her ex, formerly known as Twitter account, that shows her on a plane wearing headphones with a phone in front of her and furiously scribbling away as if she's plotting how to save the world. The caption? Oh, just the usual Harris claim she was coordinating with North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, making sure everything was in place to deal with the devastation that Helene unleashed. You know, the standard political posturing. But here's where the comedy really kicks in. Trump never won to miss a chance to dunk on his political rivals, zoomed in on one tiny detail. Ready for it? The headphones weren't even plugged in, according to Trump's eagle-eyed social media detectives. Kamala's cord wasn't attached to the phone sitting in front of her. Naturally, Trump couldn't resist hopping onto Truth Social to tear her apart. You have to plug the cord into the phone for it to work, he scoffed, in what may be the most petty but undeniably hilarious critique of the year. Let's face it, this feels like one of those times when Trump is in full-on comedian mode. Forget the natural disaster Trump is ready to talk tech support and Harris's staged photo is the punchline of his impromptu routine. Another day, another political photo up gone awry. Now, before we all start throwing our unplugged headphones in the air, let's be real for a second. The angle of the photo doesn't exactly confirm or deny Trump's epic mic drop. Harris could very well have another phone hidden under that pile of paper she's scribbling on, or maybe her headphones are connected to some top secret satellite channel that only the VP gets access to. Who knows? But let's not let facts ruin a perfectly good roasting session, right? Speaking of roasting, Trump didn't stop there. Oh no! He doubled down, calling the whole thing another fake and staged photo from someone who has no clue what she's doing. Ouch! Burn level scorched, and just like that, the internet went wild with Trump fans gobbling it up like a buffet at Mar-a-Lago, while Harris supporters scrambled to defend her honor. But wait, there's more. Because we can't just have a petty photo scandal without it snowballing into a full-blown political tirade, Trump took the opportunity to slam Harris for not even showing up to visit any of the states ravaged by Hurricane Helene. Helene. Oh yeah, Trump went full throttle. He accused her and President Biden of abandoning Americans once again, just like they did in Afghanistan, because you know he wasn't going to let that one go. According to Trump, they've now left people to drown in North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and basically anywhere south of the Mason-Dixon line. And because this is Trump, he couldn't help but remind us all that he took a break from his busy schedule to tour the damage in Valdosta, Georgia heroically swooping in to assess the wreckage like some kind of orange cape savior. That's right, while Harris was busy with her, maybe plugged in, maybe not headphones, Trump was out there doing the dirty work, pointing at flood damage along Mill Creek, making sure everyone knew he's still the man of the people. Oh, but let's not forget, Harris's photo was meant to show just how deeply involved she was in coordinating FEMA's response. She claimed to have been briefed by FEMA Administrator Dean Criswell and said she'd been in constant contact with Governor Cooper. But really, can any of that compare to the comedy gold that is Trump accusing Harris of letting Americans drown? The former president doesn't just come for your political record, he's coming for your whole image, staged or not. As if that wasn't enough political theater, when Trump was asked about his own response to the hurricane, you know, the one where he spent a relaxing weekend at his Rehoboth Beach vacation home, he got defensive faster than you can say hurricane force winds. And so, as of Monday afternoon, we've got 600 people still missing, millions without power, and political leaders who are more interested in photo ops and beach vacations than actual disaster relief. 
but hey at least we got some top tier entertainment out of it right what do you think was kamala harris really caught in a photo op fail or is trump just blowing hot air and don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay in the loop you're tuned into famous faces scoop tv where there's never a dull moment until next time bizu bizu